Arthur, get in the car. No. Bitterman, open the door. Bitterman, close that door. Get in the car. Not you, Bitterman. Who are you people? I'm his nanny. I'm not. I'm Bitterman. Welcome to What the Flick, everyone. The remake of Arthur. 30 years ago, the original came out in 1981, directed by Steve Gordon. This one directed by uh, Jason Weiner, who's had great success on A Modern Family. How do you do with Arthur? He did okay. You know, for those people that are unfamiliar with the original Arthur, this is the story of a rich drunk. Get on the horse. No, it's okay. Maybe Daddy can help? Let me help. Oh, but you're not qualified. Please. Oh, <laughs> that was no trouble. You're going to marry Susan Johnson. Hello, Arthur. Ah! Mm. <sighs> what was that? A French kiss. Really? Because the French always surrender. That was decidedly German. It stars Russell Brand, and instead of having a uh, valet or butler, mm -hmm. she he now has a nanny who's still with him, played by Helen Mirren, taking over the John Gielgud role from the original film. Are you running from yourself, Arthur? I wish I was, because I'd let me get away. Put this on, please. Say, wash your winky. Wash your winky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I'm a bad kitty. Stop it! <laughs> My bed is made of magnets. Get me out of here! At least something in this room is attracted to you. So yeah, this is the remake of Arthur. This is the role that made Dudley Moore a star. Well, I guess solidified his stardom right. 30 years ago. One of his signature roles. And this movie is getting trash, and I think needlessly. I had fun. I like Russell Brand. Russell Brand showing up and being Russell Brand on cue is good for me. What's for, it at? For laughs. What's it at on the tomato? Uh, it's gone up. It's 20% right now. It was down to zero at one point. People are hating on this movie. Why? And it's not that bad. It's I, needless. Like, we it's, didn't need a remake of Arthur. The original is fine. It's still funny. I think there were people that were gunning for this movie to be bad. And you know, I don't why think, is I, that? I don't, I don't think it was helped at all by the trailers. I don't think it was helped by the television trailers. I think when the, I think the, the film trailers Trailers, the trailers in movie theaters actually were better. Mm -hmm. uh, the longer right. the trailer, the, the the funnier it looked. Yeah. Right. But uh, the television trailers, the 30 second trailers, w made it look really bad. And I think right. in that sense, people were gunning for and it. And the billboards too, because he just looks sort of demented. Yeah. Like he's sitting there, sort of smiling, like, hi, I'm Arthur, and the hell mirror and surrounding him. That made me a little nervous. It was right. going to suck. Now, to and, be clear, and, the, and the remakes of great sort of loved films. Right. From the 80s. Right. There's, there's a lot of affection for Arthur, right. a lot of affection for Dudley Moore in that right. movie. That really is kind of, when you think of Dudley Moore, that's the movie you think of. Also, people fucking hate Helen Mirren. <laughs> 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 you know, Russell Brand's not for everybody. If you're not a Russell Brand fan, you're not going to like this movie because he's in all of it. But I didn't have a problem with him. I, you know, there's there's kind of a sweet little romantic comedy here. It's not very original and it's forgettable. Three months later, I'll forgotten that I've seen this. And in fact, a couple years, people will say, oh, did you ever see Arthur? Oh, yeah, they're right. They you know, I, I love that line. I, I use it a lot. But I don't think that's true here because I think Russell Brand leaves an imprint on you almost all the time. I mean, I agree with you. I think he is... Right, but but not but not as Arthur necessarily. No, I think he, I He's think being he, Russell Brand. Yeah, right. I think he will. But I think you'll remember him as the guy who played Arthur not quite as well or as memorably as Dudley Moore. It's but I think different. you'll remember. And he's just, I mean, he just he's like a happy-go-lucky party boy, whereas I think Dudley Moore did it in more of a sad and lonely kind of way. Right, and I don't think that Russell Brand was uh, drunk enough. I mean, one of the you know <laughs> Dudley seem Moore. Drunk at all, right? You know, Dudley Moore was like that was really the last time that you could play drunk and laugh at it in 1981, as we were really starting to realize, man, you can't be drunk and have it be funny anymore. He's uh, slurring in right. the first Arthur. He's like, Are you okay? I mean, right off the bat, uh, there's a scene in this movie where Luis Guzman is driving. You know, you can't have driving, obviously, and uh, you know, and so I thought right away, oh, they're they're going to minimize the fact that, that Russell Brand is drunk. A and I thought they did a little bit. I mean, yeah. the, they keep saying he's an alcoholic, but we never actually saw him sort of stumbling drunk. You I see him hung over one morning. Right, you see him hung over and you see him with booze, but he never acts incoherently. Right. Well, the whole thing is sanitized. I mean, the whole thing is yes. like post Giuliani in New York. There are no prostitutes prowling the streets like there are in the original Arthur. Right. Right. But well, you, and you would think with a movie in this day and age that you could get much more into what would undoubtedly be Arthur's ridiculous sex life, and they only really make reference to that's it. That's right. You don't I, actually ever get to, you know, this, you kind of want a boozy sex fest, right? right. And this, that's not what you got. This movie uh, suffered from a lack of debauchery. There's <laughs> there's really, yeah. there's, there's a reference to the debauchery, but we never really see it. We see him at a party, but we don't see anything 
happening at the party. We see the aftermath of the party, which is a very sort of stereotypical movie scene of, you know, the clothes from young hot women right. lying about. But we don't see him yeah. in bed with six or seven women. We hear about prostitutes, but we don't see him pick up any prostitutes. This movie right. would have been much better rated R. I think it would have been funny. Absolutely. More but you know, hookers. As, as disappointing as this movie is, it's still okay. It's not unwatchable. It's it's kind of amusing. There's some genuine laughs in here. I thought Greta Gerwig was doing yep. a good job, although she's definitely kind of doing Zooey Deschanel, I thought. They, I think know. she's doing Greta Gerwig. I want to know who else she can be besides like quirky kind of right. indie comedy nerd girl. I mean, I like her. I like her naturalism. I wonder what other tricks she has in her bag of tricks. Yeah, I thought she was more mainstream here than uh, than right. she was in, in Greenberg. I thought mm -hmm. she sort of, you know, grew into a more mainstream role. I'm a, I'm a big fan of hers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think she's totally cute. That has something mm -hmm. to do with it. But I thought she was, I thought she'd lent something to it. I thought she'd lent some, some, some credibility to it. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought it got going too. Like I thought in the first 10 minutes, I thought, uh-oh. This is going to be horrible. Right. And, then, <laughs> and, and then I started to laugh. Well, because yeah. there's, there's a lot of cliches of, and the expected cliches of what would somebody with that much money do. And they're kind of doing, you know, buy the numbers, like, oh, buy all these, buy the Batmobile and wreck it, and all this kind of crazy stuff. But then there's little yeah, moments that, that, in there. That scene sucked. <laughs> but there's yeah. little moments in there that I thought, you know, this could have been a much better movie if it wasn't tied into necessarily being Arthur, or if somebody had had the balls to really do something with this movie. You know, the... The bit where he talked about, you know, she borrows his coat and he says, oh, this was my father's. I, I had a retailer to fit me. It's one of the few things I have left. You know, why waste it? And I thought that was a really kind of touching, interesting moment for a character like Arthur. And, it, and there's moments in there where you think you're going to get some depth and then they you don't get much. You know, and, uh, there's there's some criticism that I've been reading about Russell Brand that he you know that there's that he can't sort of display any humanity or tenderness that he can just be funny and I I think that's not true I think he did and I think with a with a storyline that allowed that more that he probably can do more right like get into the Greek I think he showed some yeah. dramatic moments right. there right. as well there's more to him than especially just, in the last yeah. thirty minutes of that movie which was not as good as the first part of it but yeah. I still right. think he displayed he can that. show more I mean also what do we think of Helen Mirren in the John Gielgud role it's uh, speaking of sanitized. She's not nearly as mean to him as Gilgood was to Dudley Moore with the zingers that he got. Right. I, I, I think that my main reason for enjoying watching Helen Mirren do this was watching the shots where you could see her struggling not to laugh <laughs> at stuff that Russell Brand was mm. doing. That was the part that I enjoyed, which probably doesn't really say much about her performance. She, uh, you know, I, she can't help it. She, she classed it up. There's no question mm -hmm. she classed it up. And I mean, John Gielgud also classed up Arthur, but it was funny right. even without him. And, and she, he gave a terrifically memorable performance. His and, one and only Oscar. Yeah, that's right. His one and only For Oscar. Arthur. She helped. You know, interesting little note here. Uh, what's the woman's name? Geraldine James uh, played his mother in this, and Geraldine Fitzgerald, the great Geraldine Fitzgerald, played. Uh, played Arthur's mom in the original. There you go. And Jennifer Garner, hugely unlikable as the social climbing uh, right. fiance. A, a rare unlikable role for yeah. Jennifer Garner. Right. You've got a decent cast here. It's always a treat to see Luis Guzman, even though he's not doing anything different than you've seen him do in a million other roles. Always kind of fun to watch mm -hmm. him. I, partly because uh, I guess I look like him. And, <laughs> um, and uh, Nick Nolte. And Nick Nolte looking healthier than he'd looked in a long time. Strangely coherent. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty funny. And, yeah. and uh, Russell Brand is just great. That is a great on-screen presence that he has. This is not a great movie, but it's, it's, it's not horrible. And, uh, and people are gunning for it, and they're going into it. I think the critics who hate it are going into it with an attitude that they're going to hate it. Um, and it's funny. And if you don't laugh at this, you're, uh, you're deliberately trying And, and I will admit that I thought going into this I was going to hate it and I was yeah. really surprised by how much I had a good time in this. I think people who hate it also, are, if, if this were not a remake, if this were just a film yeah. on its own, right. how would they react to it? Yeah. Probably not I the way they are. I think probably better. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to see it, but <laughs> it's, if you see it, it, it's not bad. You'll laugh. Okay. All right, great. So five. Well, I thought you were going to big do uh, a little higher than that. Yeah. Uh, five. Like, what's yeah, wrong? You I, people I, just I, gave I, it a great high. You, just, you I, talked it up more than a five. All right, I, I'm giving it a six, so let me do that in my head. <laughs> All right, I already did. Uh, 5.3 is our overall grade for uh, Arthur. Cause did I say 6? Did I say it? You said 6. All right, 5.3 our overall yeah. grade to, uh, uh, for Arthur, a moderate recommendation and a better grade from me because it's better than the other film we reviewed this week, Hannah. Nope. <laughs> yes, it is. You're so wrong.